a brief look at Ulysses, my favorite text editor for iOS and Mac. iCloud Sync in Ulysses is wonderful because you don't have to worry about syncing up using some external username and password. If you have an Apple device with an iCloud account, it just works. And it syncs across the Mac and iOS. In this example though, I'm going to sync between an iPad Pro and an iPhone 7 Plus. So let's watch it work. And after a few seconds, bam, you're in sync. This is a great provision if you often find yourself switching between work devices. There's also markdown support, which is invaluable for a writer who wants their text to be portable. It uses a simple plain text syntax that can be exported to all sorts of formats like HTML or PDF. And you can see how easy it is here. So I'm just gonna create a link and Ulysses handles the rest. Pretty sweet. But the really cool thing is that you can export right from Ulysses. So if I just hit the share button, you can see plain text formatting, even though it's marked up, it's still easy to read in plain text. And I can go in and select a different format if I wanna do that. So I can select, for instance, PDF. There you have a PDF format. Or I can choose HTML and I can actually copy the HTML code and paste that into, for instance, WordPress if I wanna do that. And if you're not very familiar with Markdown yet, you can take advantage of the easy to use shortcuts in the bottom right hand corner. Speaking of shortcuts, there are plenty of keyboard shortcuts and these are contextual, so they will change based on where you are within the app. Uh, for instance, I can use keyboard shortcuts to quickly switch between dark and light mode, so Command Option L, or I can use keyboard shortcuts to quickly switch between groups, sheets, or the editor. And once on the editor view, I can use Command Return to start editing, and then I can go in and modify individual text as well. Pretty neat. Now, as you've seen, there's a very nice organizational structure within Ulysses. Of course, you have your editor, you have your sheets, and you have your groups, and you can use swipe gestures or keyboard shortcuts to expand it. So you have your groups, your sheets, and your editor. So you can easily create a new group or a new sheet, and you can actually assign your own little glyph icons to your groups for easy identification. Now what's really cool is that you can select multiple sheets and export those sheets as a single document. Powerful tool if you like to compose your documents over a series of individual sheets. With this in mind, it should come as no surprise that you can manually sort the sheets in the groups. You can also split a sheet using a keyboard shortcut like this for even more organizational control. So when you split a sheet, it creates a brand new sheet with the text contained at the point where you split it, just like this. And then lastly, there is Text Expander support built right into Ulysses, which is awesome. I use Text Expander all the time to expand snippets of text on my Mac, and as you can see right here, you can do so right within Ulysses. So I use it to expand snippets representing symbols that I often use for my tutorials. So ladies and gentlemen, our Friday Five app of the week is none other than Ulysses. It is my favorite text editor on the Mac and on iOS. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.